Hello everyone, Max of Max's Models here. On occasion we discuss kit model box art and after an email I got from Mike of Celebrating Aviation with Mike Machat, I thought you might enjoy the subject of box art artists who came from or also worked in the U.S. aerospace industry. This is not a comprehensive list, but it should give us a good idea about how talent can migrate between industries that are only distantly related. So let us take a quick look at some of these folks in the box art community and how they actually began doing art for the aerospace industry before they became legendary as kit model box art illustrators. First off is the grandfather of modern box art, the great Jack Linwood. Jack had been a flight instructor during World War II and had time in the AT-6, P-40, P-51, and P-38 amongst others. He even had his own personal AT-6 after the war. Jack had some lean years as an artist following the war, but eventually ended up working at Northrop Aviation. After establishing himself there, Jack was literally recruited from Northrop's art department by the head of Ravel Models art department, Dick Cachady, in 1956. His first box art was a Ravel 1 to 140 scale C-130. Although it had some touches added by Cachady, it pioneered Jack's crowd-the-box style, which would become his trademark. The influence of some of his work at Northrop carried over into his box art as seen in how the promotional illustrations for the proposed T-38 Talon supersonic jet trainer was imitated in the Art for Ravel supersonic jets box art. He later did a Ravel B-17 in this style, which many consider his greatest work. Jack eventually became a freelance artist and also did many box arts for Aurora, but it was perhaps Jack's 132nd scale Fighters of World War II series he did for Ravel, which is what he is best known for, and it all began with his work at Northrop. George Akimoto began an aerospace illustration career with Douglas Aircraft and his work was literally inspirational, as Mike Machat can attest to. While George was working at Douglas, he became a well-known Los Angeles illustrator, and in 1961, he was tapped for the Famous Artist series. Akimoto later did other box art illustrations for Ravel, but like Jack Linwood, he was perhaps best known in the popular culture for his many great movie posters. George, due to his Japanese heritage, had been interned during World War II and illustrated the camp magazine at age 20, which may have helped him to identify with certain aspects of American subculture, but within our community, he will always be remembered for his magnificent box art. John Amendola got his start in aviation art with Boeing in Seattle and eventually began doing box art for Williams Brothers models. Like their kits, Amendola's work paid great attention to detail, whereas Jack Linwood's illustrations often used every imaginable cheat to maximize sales appeal, Amendola's work seemed to be far more accurate and detail-oriented. He later did work for Glencoe models and those illustrations are still in use today. Joe Catula immigrated from Silesia as an infant in 1910. He was a self-taught artist and by 1931 he had been hired to do work for Model Airplane News magazine and was later hired as their staff cover illustrator. By 1958 he was doing work for Aurora and did many of Aurora's now collectible boxes. Joe lived near Philadelphia and produced all of Piper's promotional artwork from the late 1940s to the early 1960s. Although we covered some of these artists in the past on this channel and on Mike's channel, I just wanted to touch on the ones who either came up from or worked in the real aerospace industry. Aviation is a small world, aviation art even smaller, and the wonderfully talented people who have worked in both have given a rich tapestry of art to help sell both real aircraft and models. The happy side effect has been a magnificent gallery of images that can help fire our imaginations. Mike Machat
Although Mike did not include himself on this list, it should be noted that he is also a member of this elite club, not only having worked for Douglas Aircraft as a staff illustrator, but also having done 10 box arts for La Della, which is Ravel of Mexico. For many of us, box art is the art of our youth. These are our Rembrandts and Renoirs, and I want to thank each of these box art artists for inspiring me as a youth and adding some color and history and excitement to my youth. I'm Max of Max's Models. Take care, and as always, model on. Thank you.